Forgotten forest, deep black lake, over high mountains for a wapiti's sake. Deep serene call, a life to take, my reply a cunning fake. Now climb or fall, it's the decision to make, my field and dream, it's time to wake. <coughs> So we're uh, just leaving Queenstown, heading for Tiano. Uh, we've got two ute loads full of gear. We got uh, Maxo, myself, Bailey, and uh, Get on Max. And uh, oh. we're off for another wee uh, mish uh, this time, ten days in Fiordland, and we just got some fresh cuts for the briefing tonight because we want to impress Greg Dooley when we meet him for the first time. Hey Maxo, uh, we frothing, boy. We are frothing. Ten days. Oh my God, I'm frothing. Oh. Frothers. Oh. Yeah. I think froth is the right measure for the kind of froth that we have right now. It's um, it's expired. It's foam. Froth. It's foaming. It's yeah. It's it's. Um, what happens beyond fo foaming of the mouth? It literally starts boiling. Yeah, it's full on rabies. We're um, Ra right. Right. <laughs> we have rabies. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. That's how excited we are. <laughs> All right. We're about to fly into Lake Catherine, second period, Wapiti Block. Uh, with Sir Hannibal Hayes, so follow us over the next 10 days and check out what we get up to. Should be good. Whoppity epic. Let's go, boys. You! Woo! 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 He said, baby, let's hang out. You know it's been a while since we fooled around. But your kisses are the same. You touch. So morning of day two. I've just risen before the sun and uh, going to make it into the bush here and have a look at a few faces and see if we can get a few uh, balls bugling. Middle of day two. Um, uh, we've heard a few good bugles this morning, but none came in close enough, so we're going to have a crack at Expedition Peak um, now, and we've seen an absolute ripper 10 plus inch buck, he might even be one of those legendary Fjordland 11 inches, so we're going to send it up there through um, an incredibly gnarly spot now, and we might not be able to get up there, but we'll give it a good go. Don't dip me there. That, that is my normal squares. Here we are on the northern side of Expedition Peak. We um, gave it a good crack, but we decided even Greg Julie would turn around at this point, so we're going to 
uh, head back down to the valley and chase some uh, bulls that are bugling below us, so we'll um, go see how we get on. Is that uh, these wapiti bulls respond best to high-end fashion. That's what we've got here, giving them the best. Adam Walker, sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> ah! yeah. Bulls in there, bulls over there, bulls over there. Bulls everywhere. There's just bulls everywhere. And we're gonna touch them in the no no square. <laughs> Stop, don't touch me, bro. <laughs> that is no 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 square. Alright, the camera's going away now. The difference between us and you is you can play a lot. <laughs> Today we tried to climb Expedition Peak up here to get to the massive chamois buck. Said here. We went up here and got to here before we found ourselves in an impending death city trap of doom. Doing fun. Building camp out uh, weather out a bit of a storm coming tomorrow tonight, tomorrow morning, so we're gonna hunker down for a big field on storm and then see if we can get another few days back to camp. My Fijian wife taught me the skills. So for nothing. So we've just uh, made camp here. Um, is it night of day three? It is, yep. Night of day three. And um, today has been the best day yet. Um, we made some friends on the sound and got some crayfish for lunch. Um, and then we proceeded to beeline it back into the bush for our route. And along the way, um, Brought a stag to 10 metres, and uh, that was the most adrenaline rush we've had, so it's pretty sick. Let him go, um, could have put him on the ground. 20 metres vert to go, but it's literally straight up here. Um, so, what's the plan? I think we might try to cut right, maybe try to get around it. Ah, uh, that's a bit dodgy to the left, and up. Oh. Uh, that's a bit steep. Might have been. We've got the rope though, boys. Get the rope up. And then we're away on that little saddle up there. Alright, we're live. Alright, so what we've done here, we've got a bit of a steep bend past in the bush. So we've um, free soloed up here, and then we're using the rope to pull the packs and the people remaining up this <laughs> impenetrable hill face. So here comes Riley's pack here. And then. Last and least is Bailey to come up. <laughs> so, oh my god, he did do so, a lot of finger painting. So you can't see. I'd just like to have it noted that this is Finlay William River Ross's 12th leak that he's taken this morning. Uh, he is also winning the poo tally. I, Second however, am first winning. First in Chamois and first in Wapiti. Hold on. Not first in the Most importantly, planet. I am winning the Animal Planet Bailey. score. Bailey is winning nothing. <laughs> Apart from most explained to me. Give you give. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Let's go! Just do it! Just do it! <laughs> hallelujah! 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 Straight from Jesus' nipples. I did shit in so by and when you think of this I just want you to picture both my eyes looking intently hear my words as free verse poetry feel my hands painting your body don't regret you ever
Right, so it's day five for us here. We're up on uh, Saddle Hill, uh, sort of at the top of George Sound, looking back into the still water. We've had a pretty awesome couple of days. Um, we sort of got out of the bush yesterday and we thought, uh, screw it, we'll um, push up onto the tops and try our luck up there because some of the other animals we've seen way on the other side, they were really quite high. So we thought we'd, um, there's also some chamois uh, that you probably heard about already on the other side as well. So we thought we might have a bit of luck on these tops. Um, so we pushed up, had a beautiful camp last night, uh, just over a thousand meters. Um, surprisingly warm actually, a bit of wind came through but um, died off this morning which has been really good. Um, but yeah, we're up into this basin and we haven't seen anything. It's really strangely quiet, uh, which is a bit of a shame. You can hear the chopper behind me, the guys pulling out of the stillwater block. They're off home. Um, so we're going to do a bit more hunting and then head on down the front face to George Sound Hut. Talk us through what's going on. Just trying to figure out a way to descend down into Lake Catherine. <laughs> Just had a nice wobbly spiker walk up, so just hanging out with him for a minute. mid 1200 meter descent to the ocean and we're bluffed out activated here's swamp daddy into his work this does not do this justice how steep this is <laughs> come on swamp daddy <laughs> i was just walking down the hill there had a wet dream <laughs> that we'd turn up to the hut this afternoon and greg dooley was there that he's just walked in along the lake catherine track to say good day See what we've seen and uh, catch up, have a yarn, have a beer. Honey, Swamp but, Daddy, what happened? What happened, Swamp Daddy? <laughs> I got stung by wasps. Oh man, we're just coming down to look through vertical faces. Oh my butt crack, oh my god. Unfortunately, I stirred up the wasps for these boys. I got ahead of them and they got attacked <laughs> by serious oh, ninny waskers. Oh, ouch, ouch. <laughs> Is my face swelling up? Sort of, yeah. Where'd you get stung? Uh, there, there, and oh, there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, just as we were, um, Bailey and I were talking about how we're having such a magical time on day five coming down this um, big side, we literally just got bone slammed by a swarm of wasps <laughs> on a vertical cliff. Swelling up. And now, <laughs> and they got literally in my butt crack, in my suspenders. And I hung upside down from this tree. <laughs> Meanwhile, Max was like well clear of it down the bottom. <laughs> and now we have about 300 meters just vertical cliff face below us. That's the Henry Saddle. It's where we spend a couple of nights. And. Jeff and I went to the top of that peak went around the back of that peak and along the top of that next little bit um, to chase after that stag that little peak there, there was a chamois just up there so that's a wee way to go, but anyway a couple of days later, we're down the bottom First sign of civilization in five days bit of a walk wire across here they could be bales. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Straight from the brown town. Oh. Cheers, mate. Cheers. We've come down from Saddle Hill, 1200 meters, to George Sound Hut, <laughs> altitude 5 meters. Although sea level rise probably puts us at 1 meter. Been day three weather in the storm. We've got a window to come out for a fish. We've just got Codzilla. 
the boat's half full of water down here. But, Welcome um, aboard Unsinkable 3. Unsinkable 3's going down, and we're, <laughs> we're into them. Triple hookup, first drop on cod. All three hooks. Triple hookup. So Fish bin's already full. We better get the boat rid of water quite, pretty quick, though, we I We could go home, or we could do it all again. Can't beat Fiordland. What are sloppy jalopies, Matt? Sloppy jalopies? Well, there's two types of sloppy jalopies. Well, it's only we one type that works, though. <laughs> we won't go into the second one. <laughs> no, we won't. The first. Holy shit, what's that on the surface? Oh, we've oh. got one on the surface. Oh. Get the gear out. Get the gear out. Get the gear out. Spread the riggers. <laughs> <laughs> we need something for the vegan. There's a fin on the surface. Holy shit, there she is. So a sloppy jalopy as we were is just um, nothing better, just fried flour and water. water. Fried that flour works. and water, sloppy jalopy, whiskey, and then a bin full of cod, that's all you need. And here she is. And if we could get this. I reckon, I reckon, can we do it in the gumbo? What? Snagger with it. Seems to be a rogue watermelon on the surface up here. Full rig. Get the riggers out. Rig. Get the lines out. The outrigger. Get the lines out. <laughs> there she is. Run straight over her. She'll turn. She'll come at you. She'll come at you. She's aggressive. Hang on. We've just been slow trolling flashes on the surface through Fjordland and we've just hooked up to a big one. We saw a big watermelon on the surface. Hungry vegan. But now that we've hooked up to one and she's pulling the boat along. So in two hours into the handline battle now and she's still taking drag. There she goes. There she goes, boy. Look at that. <laughs> This is what my Fijian wife taught me, how to properly fish on the hand line. Oh Believe it or God. not, on the hand line, it's the only way, only other muscles <laughs> that work the same as when <laughs> so. It's good muscle memory. It's good muscle action. memory. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a nice fish. She's towing She's the boat. She's taking us for a ride. And Max is hooked up over here to something tiny, but. You better get him in, Max. Huh? It's a bit hard to film. Oh sh Yeah, okay, camera away. It's a massive bloody shark, so. We better cut her loose because that is no good to me. I would get it up here and take the hook out, but in this tiny little boat. We don't want an unsinkable four. Get it. Oh yeah, upside down. Riley Elliott. Here's the exit of the Lake Alice. Screaming down that waterfall, down into George Sound. Got it. So um, it's our last day here at George Sound. Um, we're going to head up to the tops this afternoon, and we just thought we'd get out for a final fish. Pretty awesome. Five cod. Um, can't beat a bit of kaimoana in a place like this. So bloody awesome. It's the last night in the hut. It's a night of day seven before we get a bump to the tops. Flour and water. We've got some corn fritters. Beautiful. Okay, who's next? I'll serve someone up, eh? Matt, you better. And there's some blue cod the boys are caught. Oh, that blue cod. Bloody cod. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. You 
wouldn't read about it. And what are the chances I was here to watch this happen? She didn't even know I was here, really. And look, here's the lake. I've got to boost it back down now. After, afternoon of day nine. I'm just about to leave and go for a wander. And um, looked over the top here, and down on the clearing below us was a bloody nice looking bull and a cow and a calf. So just pick the spotter up and yeah, having a good look at them now. So the lights are a bit bright. Nah, they're looking pretty, pretty nice. It's just a bit safe from us, outside of our block, but still cool to see them nonetheless. Pretty special moment. And I've seen another absolute monster an hour or two ago as well, down that block as well, so. Our camp is in there, in the turn all the yellow dot you might be able to see. And then that's the peak we're going to try climb tomorrow. Tomorrow, day 10, day 11, out of here. After our being violated last night by our overconsumption of freeze dries, we have resorted to I'm trying to air dry out the last piece of toilet paper. <laughs> Good luck to you, sir. <laughs> oh my god. This is what we have become. This is what we have become. <laughs> well, things have just taken a return for the worse here in Fiordland. Day 10, um... We know if we don't get a pick up pretty soon that we're going to be in here for quite a long time still and we just heard the chopper come in looking for us um and he got so close he was probably within 100 or 200 meters but we're just where we are we're oh just sticking God, flag breaking. and we just can't get out of here and the chopper just can't as get soon us as that lifts, we send a message. Oh. Um, I mean, we could walk back to the hut, but it would be four days, probably, and very we're dangerous. very dangerous. So we're just probably going to hunker it out here until sometime, and a chopper can pick us up. Maybe it's the end of today, maybe tomorrow morning. But if he doesn't come back in this afternoon or tomorrow morning, <laughs> yeah, we're very much. at least the other boys have got to the hut, which we know, so they'll have a bit more food because we're worried they'll run out of food but um man that was pretty frantic we just hectically packed up camp in about 30 seconds the whole thing the tent show the when tent. we heard the helicopter we just <laughs> threw everything in a pile ready to go and then heard the chopper come in he just couldn't get us 